Did you get the mic on? Why do you, you always, the mic? why the mic? No, we gotta put the mic on, man. That doesn't make sense, though. No, we're putting it now because what's going to happen next? We want to have you, a record you of. You don't really? Yeah, we gotta know what's gonna happen, man. You don't know what's gonna happen? No, we're here. Listen, we're here pitching this movie. All right, look. Oh, she's coming. Come yeah, on, go to reception. Go to reception. Oh, hi there. Yeah, yeah, we're here to pitch the Gargoyles movie. Oh, okay, fine. Just five looks for now. All right, thank you. Okay, we got five Which minutes. We got five, five minutes. Five minutes. Yeah. Five like, minutes, man. We're not, we're not ready, though. Like, we haven't even gone through anything yet. Like, how do we... Like, just, just listen up. Relax. We'll be fine. Everything's going to be fine. Here, check this out. Listen, we haven't gone through the script yet. Like, there's still notes I have to make, and we haven't... Listen, done... listen, 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 listen. I know, just... Okay, listen. What... Why are castles great for parties? What? What? what do you... Why are castles great for parties? Why Why are castles great for parties? Because the nightlife. Like, are you kidding me? No, the nightlife. You get it? Because the knights in the castles is their life. Why do you make stupid jokes? <laughs> it's just to loosen do, you up, man. To so loosen you up. Just that, relax. Uh, how did that loosen me up? That didn't loosen me up at all. It's supposed to, I'm supposed to make you laugh. Yeah, I'm thinking about knights now. Oh, man. Listen, just go over the notes. And... I, I'm trying to, but uh, I'm thinking about knights. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I, I got to think about knights and castles. Why do you always do that stupid song? That's a great song. First of all, it's a great song. Why are you like? You're not even focusing on what we need to do. Okay. Well, okay, let's go over who 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 who, who you got to cast. Okay, like, so talk the, about like, the cast again. Mm-hmm. This sh- should be still in stone, right? Like, yeah. Obviously, for Goliath, we're gonna yeah. go with the same same like consistent voice that has always been for Goliath. We want Keith David. Yeah, obviously. that's that's yeah, that's that's a no, that's yeah. That's a no brainer. That's how we open. Okay, we open with the listen, man. Just before you know anything, before you go further. Keith David's our guy. We gotta like that's how we open. That, that's right? unnegotiable. Like, yeah. Like without Keith David, this is not happening. We're just gonna leave. Yeah. We're we're walking out of this room. Let's walk yeah. out. For Demona, I think that we go Angela Davis, Angela Bassett. Sorry. Angela Bassett was okay. From uh, as many things as Angela Bassett. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know who Angela Bassett is. Do you? Yeah. Okay. You wouldn't want to. Uh, you wouldn't try like uh, Uma Thurman, Rosaria Dawson. No. I want someone with gravity that's going up against Keith David. Like, okay. they both have a similar length of career. And Angela Bassett had this return into Hollywood. Like, she's been in Transformers movies. She's appearing in, uh, I think, some Marvel movie. Pretty sure. Don't quote me on it. But she's... It's Angela Bassett. Yeah, okay, fine. All right, okay. All right, yeah, let's, let's stick with that. Okay. She knows how to play evil based on Bumblebee being a Decepticon. Okay. That's true. I haven't seen Bumblebee yet. Huh? No. Doesn't matter. We're not talking about robots. We're talking about we're talking about gargoyles here. So S- same disguise. <laughs> um, I saw. Uh, I don't know where you went, but uh, Thanatos. We got to. What, uh, you need an A-lister. Yeah. You need someone with gravity. Yeah. Uh, I'm thinking Army Hammer, because he's tall, good-looking, charming, but just smarmy enough to pull off a goatee and a ponytail. I like he's got that cocky, like that prick at it. Can he? Can he rock a goatee? He can rock a goatee. Okay, so I, I think we can. He's got that. Bass voice that you believe that like this guy's got money and he can kind of walk around. Yeah, and he's kind of got this air of arrogance to him, right? What you want for Zanatos? Yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah. Let's uh, okay. We I, I can live with that. Let's do that one. Okay, and then uh, oh, we should have Fox in here too. And with Fox in there? Why not? So with Zanatos, like his like yeah, like he, like literally his right arm, uh, right hand. Are they romancing arm? like in the no? In the I, show? I, I don't no, think no you, I don't, I don't okay. think you need any of that. Just like so yet, I, maybe, but like this. She's she's like the businesswoman that while he's playing with yeah. castles and knights. Okay, so she's gonna replace Mr. Castle and knights. That makes sense. See now. castle and knight ah, life. Okay, See okay, now okay, you get okay, it. Okay. Is she replacing Mr. Owen? So Mr. Owen's not gonna be there. Yeah, we don't need Owen. Okay, so. yeah, more female leads. Okay, fine. I'm fine with uh, that. I'm fine with that. Alicia Vincander. Uh, for Fox, that's for, the for Fox. Tomb Raider. Uh, Ex Machina. Ex Machina. That's what I was thinking of. Yeah, um, a whole bunch of other things. Yeah, she's good. Yeah, yeah. And imagine her with a blue thing around her. And the right hair. Yeah, yeah. You got the red hair. And possibly uh synthetic arm are you going that far well I mean deep cut. you, you want to play up that the whole Xanados is on the breaking edge of technology and uh, biotechnology that's fucking clever yeah yeah yeah. All, all those like here's proof right here she lost she, her arm in a whatever you don't, have to, you don't have to tell it she just has the arm and it works yeah. to the yeah. greatest capability. it's a throwaway line arm. in the movie right by him I've already done this arm 
Well, I figured that right. at some point in the movie there'd be like that, uh, like that uh, propaganda video, like yeah. Minority Report or Jurassic Park, where they talk about Xanados technologies. Yeah, yeah, yeah Welcome okay. you to the world of the future, and mm-hmm. they explain all these little things that he can do that actually set up all the things that he's actually doing. Yeah, and the arm is the arm is an example of that. There yeah. you go. All right. Um, so we need more gargoyles. Yeah. I'm going with uh, James Cosmo as Hudson, just voice. That's the same guy that was in Braveheart and Troy. So big beefy Scot- yeah. Scottish yeah, yeah. dude, yeah. And then uh, and this is we're doing we we got to pitch them on costumes or CG. Is that are we doing CG for this? Because <sighs> we gotta we gotta put that into the we gotta think of the budget, and all that like we can. We can lock down the voice. That's stuff that okay. Once, once we get because we'll, it could be half and half, right? Right, and then once we get tests like the the do test uh, shots with like an actual actor and then CGI. Keep the, keep the pitch simple. Keep yeah. the pitch simple. All right. If you lock down the voices, you can. You can play around with yeah. everything else, right? Yeah. Uh, for Lexington, I want Pat Oswalt though. That's good. I like that. From yeah. Uh, yeah. Re- Remy from uh, yeah. Ratatouille and Go- yeah. Goldberg's King of Queens. King of Queens. <laughs> the show one, so, right? so yeah. underrated. <laughs> so underrated. Um, and then uh, you have a detective, Alisa Maza. Yeah, I got uh, Sarah Shahi Shahi to do that one. So, um, she didn't seem press interest. Okay. Show. Oh, she's, okay, okay, okay. She's a place, actually she plays a, a cop. No, uh, a person of interest, kind of like a Black Widow character, like she, like an assassin type thing. Okay, so, so she, she but, knows but how then she reforms to be a good guy. Yeah, okay. she's dope. All right, she's got like she's got the nice right, right look, right attitude. And then uh, I think we need a, a partner for her to play off of. Maybe that doesn't have like she's gonna be street sense and kind yeah, of move yeah, plot yeah. forward. He's gonna be like, oh, uh, what do you mean? Uh, I picked a uh, Daniel Day Kim from Lost. Yeah. Maybe? As a different and, uh, as, Hellboy. As, a, as a detective, just as a detective. Okay, sure. another cop that she can play off of. Yeah, yeah, I like him. Um, and, and I think uh, cool. Yeah, yeah, he's got he's got his own gravity. Uh, Is that everybody? Are you, are, you, are you putting any other any other like are you putting Brooklyn, Broadway? I I have them, but Hudson? I I don't have voices. Yeah. yeah. Okay, no voice. All right. And then uh, Bronx, but again, it's a growling dog. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Get, I get Billy West. <laughs> I just did it. <laughs> you can get it. Yeah. You know, you, you'll you'll work for you'll work for scale. I will. Yeah. Work for scale. <laughs> yeah. Um, I do have one villain that we. This is one of ours. We'll walk away if they don't cast them as Macbeth. Other uh, Macbeth, it's Jared it's got to be Jared. Jared Butler. Jared yeah. Butler's got to He's got to be Macbeth. Yeah. There's nothing else to say with that. It's like it's okay. It's Jared Butler. <laughs> and he's Scottish. This yeah, is the, it's perfect. This is the role he was born Jared. to play. Dyes hair a little white. You're good. Um. Did we cover the casting. That was it, right? Yeah, and then there's like Scotland, but that's that can we're just looking for Scotland. Scottish we're looking people. for the throwbacks. Yeah, when there's, 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 yeah. there's flashback scenes, obviously, to yeah. tell the, the whole You kind of got to fill mythos. in how, yeah, yeah. Um, we can get into that, but it's not as heavy. No. There's kings, queens, yeah, yeah. magicians, puck. Yeah, think, <laughs> yeah. think of just Scottish actors, right? Yeah, we straight Scotland. That's Whatever. Work for scale. Yeah. Or get the New Zealanders. They're not working since Lord of the Rings. Yeah. They're just standing around yeah. in uh, org costumes. <laughs> and orgs in Scottish look relatively the same, huh? <laughs> The mic, the mic's not on. This is the mic's still on. What, what? The mic's still on. Okay, so here's the here's the opening pitch, right? This yeah. is how we, how we're leading into the movie. So I thought we were doing the opening credits, uh, and it was going to be Santos doing rich boy things. Is that still the plan? That that can happen in the movie, but All I right. feel like a cold open or just kind of in in kind of engulf you into the world. Yeah, this is how I want to go because I have a, a few MacGuffins and things that I want to set up. It hit me. Before the movie starts, yeah, okay. Re- so it's refresh a, me. It's a dark, rainy, stormy night in New York. Okay, a boy in a hooded sweatshirt, sweatshirt is running through the streets, clutching something under his arm, and under his sweater. Right, so he's yeah. pre- protecting it from the rain. Very important. We see as he's running in and out through the crowd, he's being traced by four thugs dressed in head-to-toe black, leather jackets, ski masks, silver and iron weaponry, right, like bars, yeah, pipes to steal, all that kind of shit. Uh, he turns the corner into a dark alleyway, trips. Like scrapes his knee, and kind of loses the book, that slides. It's off. a book, so it's a book he's holding. Oh yeah, so the real. It's a book. It, yeah, it, yeah. It, it's, <laughs> it's a book. It was a book under his arm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, uh, so the faceless goon now turns the corner. They're no longer running. They're slowly like, uh, preying on him now. S- slow footsteps you hear on like puddles in uh, the ground. He yells out, "Nowhere to run now!" Right. Um. The goons pace obviously slow down in the alley. They're scraping their chains and their bars against the wall to be more intimidating. Yeah, yeah. Freak the kid out more and more. Uh, a Scottish voice bellows out, Come now, lad. Give it here. <laughs> uh, 
the, the Scottish voice is the third intimidating thing about the main goon. Uh, the second being that he's holding an iron mace, which you typically wouldn't see in... No, I was going to say you would see that every, in New York. Every day in New York. Anywhere, yeah. And that his uh, ski mask has uh, four red blood uh, clawed streaks like, across its face. Just like the hunters. Ba- basically. Like the hunters. Basically yeah, yeah. like the hunters. Um, and he screams out again, uh, no way out of this one for ye. Best be a smart one here and hand it over. Uh, then you hear a swooping sound. That wasn't oh. bad. That's <laughs> working on it. Yeah, that wasn't bad. Working on it. Yeah. You hear a swooping sound that engulfs the alley. As one goon looks up and whimpers up, you hear that? You say, Whoa. right? Um, his goon mate replies like, shut up. Like, we got something to do here, right? Uh, a louder swoop hits again. Like, this time a little scream and uh, three of the goons look up and... Uh, uh, the 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 head uh, goon lunges forward at the boy with the book. He's unfazed by the sound, obviously. Um, and the screamed wind beast comes flying in here, and then starts uh, slicing limbs off goons. Uh, blood goes flying, limbs go flying, uh, and obviously screams of terror from these goons that are now getting ripped to shreds by whatever this beast is that's flying through the sky. Uh, Screaming some. It's safe to safe to say that the beast is obviously a gargoyle. Yeah. Uh, the head goon is uh, right over the boy, about to clutch the book when he's uh, flipped up by his ankles and flown into the night. You can hear him screaming, "I hate gar," but you don't hear what the final <laughs> thing is. The boy, still kind of freaking out to see or not really see what just happened, uh, scrambles to get the book in disbelief uh, until the beast lands right in front of him, and uh, in she speaks now. Now, boy the book as she extends her uh, her hand to the boy the hairs on her neck stand up and she can feel it the sunrise is coming from behind her she looks over her shoulder to see the glow of day peak pass through the buildings um uh, she just has enough just enough time to look back at the boy and she reaches out her arm and yells cover me as the sunlight hits she's frozen in place into solid stone she's Demona yeah. so that's our Demona. friend that's Demona. introduction Demona okay sweet. right the boy even more jaw dropped Drops the book. It hits the ground. It hits the ground as pages start to f- uh, fly open. It's the Grimora Akinorum from the series. Yeah. And then we go into credits for Gargoyles. Sweet. Yeah, we got it. We got it. We got it. The same song. Like those credits. Yeah, but like not you doing it. <laughs> not me doing it. That's the pitch. No, yeah. That's in the pitch. Me going. We have tape recorders. We and me going. Play the song. No, like. Again. Your, your, your mouth isn't an instrument that we want to use. To Anyways, so yeah, you have the credits and then a cold cut to. Like the the medieval times, like where they came from, like the, the origins. Yeah, no, no, the or origins you, you of the gargoyles. Where you yeah. get a turkey leg and a oh, there'll be turkey legs. Okay, well, there'll be enough. turkey legs. Absolutely, turkey legs. Fair enough. And mead. <laughs> oh, that's funnier to us than it will be to them. Um, well, you're doing one laughing. So. I am, yeah, because my brother. Funny to you. My brother mead. <laughs> you got weed here? <laughs> you <remember> that? <laughs> what? Beer fest? Oh, <laughs> well, weed. weed. My brother's like, they have mead. mead. My cousin's like, they have weed here? What, <laughs> weed? Weed? Anyways, cold cut to... Uh, you only got to get a, a table at Beer Fest. Your brother. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy. <laughs> to, to cut, so you cut to the meal times, like where the guy was to come. So that sets the stage for... Uh, <laughs> Their lore, yeah, their like, their, their mythos. They're, they're, so they guard their this. Legend. They guard this castle to people that are like reluctantly have them there. Right. So we we, we can use Scottish actors too, right? We can oh, yeah, the, yeah. It doesn't matter. Ewan McGregor. Yeah, yeah all those. Mm, guys. Kelly McDonald. Yeah. Drew Galloway. I don't know who that is, but he's a wrestler. Oh yeah. You may know him as Drew McIntyre. I know. I know Ewan McGregor. Mac- McIntyre. I knew Megan McGregor well. Maybe uh, Ewan Brenner. Kevin Ewan, McKidd. Oh, Kevin Brenner. Yeah. And Kevin McKidd. Ian Glenn. No, see Eddie McKellen. Tommy Flanagan. 
Tommy Flanagan, that's a good, strong Irish name there. That's Peter Mullen? Peter Mullen. Huh? Oh, gee. Um, but yeah, have all them, cast all them. Anybody who's Scottish, you're in, bud. Right. You're in. Like uh, like New Zealanders in Lord of the Rings. Yeah, whatever. If you're Scottish and you look like an orc, you're in. But they cold cut from there. Do you want to show the gargoyles like right then? Or kind of keep them in. I was kind of kind of keeping them like shrouded a little bit, like you know that their presence is felt. Yeah, you've seen Demona in the beginning. Right? Maybe in the distance, kind of things. Yeah, you see them flying overhead. Yeah, but never it's, close up. Never, it's, never next to a human. It's so centered. You get the, you get the gravity. Yeah, it's centered know, around. It's centered around like the the, the 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 townsfolk, if you if, if you will. Right. Uh, and they're just talking, having conversations about them. Yeah. Like all oh, these monsters are here. Yeah, but they're kind of. And even the cut. opposition comes like it's unfair. There's not yeah. a real fight unless yeah. you fight man against yeah, man. man against man. Yeah, man, you fight yeah. with beast. Exactly. No, but but they keep us safe. You know, when there's two, there's there's only you know. Don't be mad because so you don't have gargoyles. We've got gargoyles. That's perfect. That's... You guys suck. Do you want to roll? You should have a roll on it. Well, clearly, I look <laughs> Scottish. If anyone looks Scottish, other two look. Um, but yeah, so it shows the townsfolk are kind of they're split on the whole thing. But then when push comes to shove, this whole bandit raid comes. Yeah, you, you Gargoyles have, go to work. Yeah, yeah, you have protectors. And then you see them. And then, like, you know, they they won't let them inside the castle proper. It'll, it's just kind of... Well, they have, them, they have them on the exterior wall. And yeah. then, yeah. like, the underground? Yeah, but they can't... They can't finagle they, they, with they can't the consult. townsfolk. Yeah, it's, it's, it's the, they can, it's, but it's frowned upon. It's Gargoyle Crow? Yeah, yeah. Or, or Jim Gargoyle? Jim Gargoyle. <laughs> However you want to, <laughs> however you want to split that hair. They're not welcome, okay. but they are. But they're needed. needed. Yeah. Yes. So it's a you know it's a give and take type thing, or just just a complete take. But anyways, that's the intro. Yeah, that's well. You you did the intro. This is the credits, and then it cuts to this, and from there, it'll it can fade to. Uh, Demona story. Well, I was thinking more like Xanatos and Macbeth have met. So this is this is so Xanatos knows Demona. So right? this is a, not a. Flashback to 1600s. It is, but it's but, more of a story. But a flashback to when Xanatos takes a trip to it's, yeah, it's Scotland? it's like it's basically two flashbacks in one. Okay, so it's like a flashback to the 1600s, which then turns out to be a story that Macbeth is telling Xanatos over dinner table, which is a flashback in itself. So let's not call it a flashback. Let's just talk it. We're we're changing settings to Scotland. You get two parts of Scotland, present day, which isn't the current day, right? Right. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. But uh, previous sixteen hundred. Yeah. Perfect, yeah. Oh, that's that's. Coming. We'll we'll say when we go in there, we'll say that because I don't want to say flashback eight times and have them thinking. How many flashbacks is yeah. this movie? Yeah. Yeah. Is this yeah. Back to the Future. Yeah. Yours, yours much it is. It but there's no is. flux capacitor no. and there's no Doc Brown. No DeLorean. But there's a Marty. There's a, a McFly. Um, Marty Finnegan. Because here's my whole thing: is like, okay, so Xanatos, it, the whole thing is like, how does he figure out with this? Because he's the only guy in this universe that can that we know that can bring the gargoyles that break the spell from right well, he's them. got enough money to do exactly so how how needs. does he get there right so he could have just went there to go buy Loch Ness right no, but no Loch Ness never no I'm not saying how does he get to Scotland how does oh. he get to where he brings the gargoyles above the sky so you can have him talking to Macbeth because him Macbeth can be the middleman between him and Demona right right or the connection not even the middleman the connection right? yeah. exactly and because then Macbeth if, explains the lore of, did you ever hear about gargoyles? Exactly, Larry? exactly. And I'm actually tethered to one. So, because remember in the in the show, him and Demona actually are magically linked, right? And they're both immortal, and none, neither one of them can die unless they kill each other, right? And that would explain why Macbeth is still alive a thousand years later, since Correct. he's only human. Well, and he's got the genes of the great Gerard Butler. Yeah, the great Gerard Butler. This is Sparta. This is Scotland. This is New York. This is Gargoyles. This is Gargoyles. That's the trailer that's, right there. <laughs> this is Gargoyles. And he tries to kick a stone, but it doesn't go anywhere. This is kicking a stone, yeah. Um, <laughs> so it's the table of Macbeth. So he finds Macbeth because Macbeth is a rich dude in Scotland, right? He lives by himself. He's got a big castle. Santos well, goes not. there. He doesn't live by himself. He's got to be like, he's got a whole bunch of goons and like. But he lives by himself. He's got hired help. He's, he's, he's well to do, though. Family. Well, no, that's how um, Xanados finds him. Because, obviously, he would only kind of associate with other people on well, that I, level. I was thinking Xanados would go there to purchase his land. Like, he wants to buy everything he can. He wants to own everything. So he goes there to buy the castle. And Macbeth's kind of like, listen, pal. 
fine. But maybe let's make it like Xanadol th thinks he's just the guy that's selling in the castle when it turns out that Macbeth actually owns the castle. So he yeah, learns yeah, that, like, yeah, okay, yeah. It's okay, more of works. a chess mass. He thinks yeah. he's a pawn when he's actually his own king. Yeah. Okay. That's fine. Yeah, that works perfect. That works perfect. Yeah. Because you can't, because you got to have Macbeth living this whole time. Right. But you can't have it become a knowledge. Correct. Right. So he kind of. So he lives well below his means, which even is, though his means are well below. His, or well above his living right. arrangements. Which is why nobody knows that. Uh, that's why he can't have th family members and people. He lives by himself. Because okay. then he's got no tethers to... Fair enough. His only tether is to Demona. And that's what he kind of tells Xanatos. When they, during their conversation, you can have Xanatos kind of hint that he believes in magic. And he's heard about this and that. And he's like, well, you haven't heard nothing yet. Because... You're saying tethers a lot for someone that hasn't seen the latest Jordan Peele movie. You like tetherball? I'm just saying. Well, Those that have seen it will understand that reference. Did you just spoil it? Not really. Okay. He just uses tethers a lot. They play tetherball. In a way. Okay. Um, but yeah, and then that kind of opens up. So then that's when he's challenged to, okay, you know what? Let's bring this. Because Demona's not there, right? She's right. in New York grabbing the book from the kid. Or right. trying to get trying the book to. from the kid. She's, so this is she's kinda... currently stoned. Yeah. She's and then st She's stoned. <laughs> hey. 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 So a we nice could, life. We could sell a, a gargoyle green uh, dime sacks. We can have like a whole strain of weed. 100%. To, yeah, to get but they're tethered bags together. Fair enough. <laughs> so you really get a combo. One, yeah, you <laughs> have to get the other one. And one's red hair like Demona, and one's white hair chronic like Mc. Oh my God, we're onto something. Well, you are. Fuck, we're geniuses. Um, we're not even done. No, we're not. But we let's can, just go let's in just now. Stop. Let's just go in now. We this writes itself. Um, but yeah, so that's and then you can cut to New York where. Xanadol obviously has happening. this information, and yeah. he's, he's now piece by piece moving. Because you had a boardroom from... scene, right? Yeah. Well, are we there though? So we were well, back in the air. Because we can jump ahead. Because there's a lot to cover. So we can kind of cut corners a bit. I, I think we have to establish how big and crazy and wealthy Xanados is. We get that he can go to Scotland. Well, we Scotland. know he's in Scotland and try and purchase a castle. Right. But we, you have to show how rich he is in New York and how he's rich, right? So you have to establish okay. like his company. Yeah. Obviously, if he has a boardroom, what he's into. So... Based on the cartoon, he's great in uh, biotechnology, yeah. artificial limbs, shit. cybernetics, uh, metal armory. But, like we can give like a little propaganda video that maybe they're playing for the boardroom before so that would they be go the public. So that would the conversation with Macbeth, and then you cut to the yeah. May maybe it ends in like a handshake between Macbeth and Xanados. It's like, trust me, I'm Xanados. Yeah. Cut to Xanados Industries, yeah. and then them going through the whole like. Uh, the new wave of the future, technology uh, products, cybernetics, artificial limbs, mi microchips, easier life. So wait, but actually, so let me let me let me pause you for a second. Sure. What did they agree upon? We didn't, so Xanatos and Macbeth have met. Right. Xanatos wants to purchase the castle. Macbeth won't let him. Right? Or will he let him? He lets him. He lets him purchase it. Okay. And then they go. Okay, nice doing business with you. I'll let you purchase this castle if you help me find this bitch that I'm tethered to. Yeah, I... There you I, go. I, There's I, more I'm, patience. Well, is he going to say this bitch I'm tethered no, to? No, I'm, I'm cutting corners because I just want to say tethered again. I'm, because... I'm looking for someone and I don't have the proper papers to get over to... New Bring York. me with you. Yeah. You can have this castle. You, you can arrange a passport and uh, some, let's say, goons or hired help or something on that side that he needs... <sighs> Yeah. That he can't bring over, that he can obviously get on his Scottish side. Yeah. That also sure. Like I can, I know people in immigrations easily. We can yeah. get anything. Because you can say Macbeth is 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 rich, not rich, but he's, he's, he's he has Scot property. He's, he's Scotland wealthy, but he's not New York wealthy. Yeah, he has. He doesn't have money. Money. I don't know what the dollar is, but let's assume that the dollar's not as high as. Yeah, it is in let's America. just say. Let's just there's, for argument's sake. They still have a uh, uh, shingles, shambles, rupees. Uh, rupees. That's Russia, isn't it? It's India. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so yeah, so shillings, shillings. They, they got, got shillings in Scotland. I guess uh, they got they got uh, haggis. Yeah, I can't even say pot of gold. God damn it, no. Scotland! Why no. can't you be like Ireland? No. Um, okay, so that's what they agreed upon. Okay, go to your so you've commercial. Okay, cybernetic. So they do the nice propaganda yeah. commercial. Um, so the audience now knows what Xanados has his fingers in, and then you cut to the boardroom, who's like, okay, finally, it makes sense why we're going public now. We have our fingers in so many things. Uh, let's make more money for all these people that are already rich. But he's not. Dendos isn't at that board meeting. It's Fox, who we finally introduce. Yeah. Um, Who's a member of the pack. If anybody watches the watch the show, they right. would know she's part of the pack. But in this part, there's no pack yet. It's 
or at all right now. It's just her as replacing Mr. Owen, right? Well, we can have the pack as a TV show still. But oh, that's not, cool. Like, yeah. take away the TV show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can see Dingo and then yeah, you have the whole... Yeah, Jackal and Hyena. And, and then you have the whole yeah. Hudson connection of him watching TV. And he's like, I like the pack. I like that. Okay, sweet. Yeah, it's a throwaway scene later on. That's cool. Right. And maybe uh, Fox has some sort of connection. Maybe it's a sibling. Maybe it's just yeah. I have friends. But... But right now she's replacing any, Mr. Owen. Anyone that's watched the cartoon understands the reference. Anyone that's new is just like, oh, Fox is someone that we should pay attention to because she's handling yeah, all the business yeah. that Zamos isn't perfect all right. um, she has to keep calming down these board members because obviously they keep having meetings but the man whose name's on the building is never there so she obviously hypes him up and give her some you know, like uh, obviously he thinks you guys are important and your opinion matters to us but yeah he's gotta yeah. butter them up a bit even though he's not there yeah right and uh, keeps trying to placate them make them feel at home and comfortable but meanwhile choppers are flying the pieces of this castle that he because now paid. he's back yeah right and everything started to assemble so obviously it's a time jump but you can see everything is working to his advantage with actual helicopters flying and planes pieces of castle up the side of this skyscraper yeah with the boardroom members being like what the fuck yeah what's... So, so Fox like fuck uh, meeting adjourned uh, we'll talk later uh, as per my next email she goes up to the penthouse like with the rest of the audience we can actually see everything rising from one level to a top level so we can start seeing the castle that we saw in a previous flashback get rebuilt in on, new york on, on new top york of a fucking skyscraper. skyscraper right perfect uh the book is still where's the book now because we for this for our movie you wanted to use it as a spell breaker as well as a spell yeah, caster it, right it's a good That's MacGuffin. They, it's, yeah it's a good it's also good product placement we can sell uh cheap books or like fun pop-up books or yeah. mcdonald happy meal books how many different ways you can say books yeah books. um but we know it was last seen with this boy and uh being chased by some thugs in the street uh most of the thugs are dead yeah. so there was some there's a pg for the beginning of yeah. the movie, yeah, but then it gets a little yeah. G again. Not for kids, not for small kids. It is for kids, but I mean, be, be prepared. I mean, it's not graphic, gratuitous violence, but no, you it's know, off screen. You know, you it's, know things yeah. are happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe things in shadow a lot happen. Yeah, because obviously this is a great movie to play in shadows and light. Yeah, dark. Oh yeah, and yeah. Night, um, light and day. Uh, so let's not focus about the book as much as Xanados now assembling his castle above his skyscraper and the first reveal of him opening the crates of the gargoyles that we're going to see because we've already seen Demona and she's still in the middle she's of the alleyway still, yeah but he has Goliath uh, Hudson Bronx and Lexington now uh, uncrated on top of these pillars so he's waiting for this or maybe he started the whole chant now yeah to, to get him so maybe it's Oh wait, then you would need the you would need the book, book, right? So that's that's the that's the the. Uh, okay, so the book that uh, he hired this this kid to rob brings it to him. Yeah, he hired he hired this little kid who's for whatever reason I don't know why he didn't hire a normal sized person, but he hired this kid <laughs> to uh, steal this book. The kid did what he was supposed to do. He's a street rat. Sure, um, he has whatever connection to Xanados. Uh, we can find a way to. The kid had the intel. Right? His, he knew where the book was. This is a smart kid? Uh, he's a street rat. He's not Aladdin. I'm just, I know he's not Aladdin, but I'm trying to make a connection. Here. Unless. Because your intro was great, so we got to He's Aladdin. A well, I mean, you can make him a man, but it's not as kind of gripping, nah, right? Yeah, you, it's you want, more you exciting want to be with a, thug, a bunch of thugs chasing the kid. That's... Uh, maybe the kid is, uh, like, has a connection to Fox, who is not as menacing as Xanados. And a better in between because yeah, sure. Uh, a kid dealing with a millionaire is a little more um, pervy than you want it to be. <laughs> I guess then a, so. Then a kid dealing with Fox, maybe uh, Fox is from the same nice. kind of like orphanage or people would see them and be like, nice, yeah. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. nice. Uh, so Fox, and that that gives like Fox a little bit of uh, kind of background of like she's not as clean as we want her to be. Like she's. Up to some dirty right. things as well. And we're, the goons in the beginning are Macbeth's boys, right? Yeah. So we can assume that Macbeth wasn't completely open with Xanatos. He didn't tell him that he was uh, mortally linked with... No, with, nobody, just, nobody knows about them. Nobody knows about that. The, except for Demona and but he wants Macbeth. The, but he wants the book, too, because that will, it's a magic book. That will further help 
his plate. So right? all Xanatos knows is that this guy wants to come to New York. Okay, I'll bring him to New York. I'll buy the castle. I'll bring these gargoyles and we'll try this spell thing. So well, as soon as they get there, Macbeth's like, let's get this book. Yeah. And Xanados being Xanados says Fox, like, hey, I need this book. Go get this book. Yeah. So, like, maybe Xanados, this is uh, stuff that maybe you don't see, but he's already tried to purchase the book from Magus. Magus is like, no, you can't no. purchase this. No. Not for sale. Um, then Xanados says to Fox, I need this book. Get this book. Uh, Fox goes down the road, talks to this kid. Hey, kid, you want to make 100 bucks? Go break. Here's a brick. Go break this window. Get this book. Mm. Fox and kid. Okay, so we're back in the movie. Fox and kid finally meet up. She gets the book, hands it to Xanados. Uh, sunset. Yeah. And he's got the thing at the board. Opens the book. Board's gone. Says, Everybody's gone. Zim, zam, zoom. Yeah. Back in the room. And then you get the crumbling of each of the gargoyles. Uh, stones begin to break. Uh, you get the hooves. The, uh, Claws. The clawed the, feet. The, the crunching squeeze the, down yeah. into the stone. Uh, wings that part. We live again. And we live again. Money, money, money shot. And uh, we gotta, really, we gotta really sell that when we're, when we're talking. We live again. Not that, but close. All right, Quite close. We'll, we'll get there. This, <laughs> is, this is like we're trying to. I mean, like Keith David here. It's not. Well, I already live, so <laughs> you don't feel it like like you would. I'm living right now. I currently am alive. I I'm hungry. Okay, so <laughs> they break free. I could use a little lunch. Um. I think that's enough of that. And they're disoriented, but they're still happy to see each other, which they right. haven't seen for at least a thousand years. Oh, yeah, because Demona... How did Demona get there? No, we're not there yet. We're just at uh, the four boys the four up boys. top. Right. Like, uh, Bronx is happy to... They don't have names, right? Other than Goliath. Right. We'll have we'll have Elisa name them later on. Or we can just give them names, because that's a whole thing about, like, oh, you, Lexington visited Lexington, and then he ended up liking it. Hudson... Well, it doesn't have to be that. It could just be Elisa Mazza going, like, don't you guys have names? And they'd be like, no. Like, well, how about I name you after places of the city? Like, you can be Lexington. You can be... It's like a three-minute scene, right? Okay, so only only Goliath... <laughs> listen. Only okay. Goliath has a name, but they're very happy to see each other. Yes. Like, I, it's yeah. been... How many years has it been? Uh, yada, yada. Where are we? Yeah. Because they recognize... So right now, it's just the Gargoyles and Xanatos. Correct. And Fox. And Fox. And the kids in the wind. Macbeth is somewhere else. No, boy's still there, because... Oh, will he's hanging come, around? Yeah, yeah, boy okay. will come back. Right. Um, And everyone's too focused on these gargoyles to be like hey kid get out of here yeah no I just didn't think it would need to be there also we had fine. we had to clear out all of the um, construction dudes because they're not working overtime oh this is late at night now this is like yeah because because the spell like we need the book to <clears throat> in this in our movie we need the book to break the spell right so this is like it's not, not only do they have to be above cloud they night. also have to say something yeah. from this book yeah to break so the everybody's ship. gone this is like Midnight now, 11 p.m. Nobody's working construction anymore. Well, midnight's not 11 p.m. So. I was, I made it, whatever. They're not, no one's working construction right now. So we're going to flash on the screen, 11.46 p.m., 36 seconds, 37 seconds. Eastern time. 38 seconds. Yeah, Eastern time. 39 seconds. Yeah, just in the corner the whole time. seconds. Yeah. No, no, this is main right in the front, well, like like those digital clocks, and it's flashing. Yeah, that's annoying. And then you get the, like, like 24, uh, uh, 24. Uh, uh, and then he wakes up and it was all a dream. Beep. Movie, wrap it. Beautiful, it's all a dream. Okay. And then you hear Biggie, it was all a dream. <laughs> used to read Word Up magazine. Okay, so they break through. <laughs> they break through, they're all happy to see each other. They recognize the castle, so they they feel some sort of se- semblance of home. Yeah. But they look on the horizon and they see. What's all this? They see and skyscrapers and lights and like. Who what? are you with the goatee? Right, and uh, so Zandel's trying to calm them down. Yeah. He's trying to earn their trust. Right away, he's like, listen. Follow me. Let's I go. I brought you guys back. Yeah, let's go into the castle, right? Yeah, let me show uh, you around. Right, so he shows them uh, the in, the his castle leading into like Xanados's room, which is all like plush with pictures of himself on it. And the kid, the kid, right, goes. He sees the gargoyles break out. Okay. And he goes, "I saw one like that down the alleyway." Right. So Xanados like, "What? Show He's, show me." You know, let's or send some send some goons. No, no, show me. Show me. So Xanados goes with Kid and Fox goes with Gargoyles as the Gargoyles get to talk to each other of just like, where are we? And Fox is nice and kind of be like, you're in this time. Yeah. You're this thing. Blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Welcome to here. And we're your friend. Right. And uh, this is where Hudson gets to see what a TV is. And he's like, 
Click turns it on and finds a nice pack. lazy boy, sits yeah, down. Oh, I'm gonna like this. Yeah. And starts to enjoy TV. Uh, maybe um, Lexington's behind a bar and he's like, What do all these things do? That's Pat Oswalt. That's a voice. perfect Pat Oswalt voice. Um, <laughs> and he starts playing with that, and Goliath is still trying to make sense of what's happening. And then he hears a voice out of the, the distance of Xanadoth saying, I know this may be a little jarring for you, but maybe I have someone that can help explain. Yeah. He steps out of the door frame. Behind him Demona's is there. Demona. And unbeknownst to him, all, wow, these guys mean something to each other. He just knew they were gargoyles. I don't right. think at this point he knew they were lovers, right? So... Well, all gargoyles know each other. No, I know, but Xanatos didn't know that. It's like people from what country? Canada, right? Because everyone from Canada knows each other. We have, there's only a population of 500 here, so. And we all talk with our heads. Yeah. <laughs> as a tradition. Although, <laughs> as is tradition. Although, I'm not your friend, buddy. No, so he quickly sees that Demona and Goliath uh, know each other well. So he's no. like, oh, I can. I'm not your buddy, you guy. But he, but he also understands that. Just through just through the, sh- the short interactions, like Goliath is more, uh, he's got more, he's more noble. I'm not your guy, friend. And Demona is kind of more like, not quite. Well, Demona understands right? that this world is very seedy, and you have to trust whatever hand is feeding you currently. And the first, like, yeah, the first thing she says is like, you can't trust these humans, right? To well, Goliath. Yeah, to... but you can trust these humans. Yeah. She initially trusts Xanatos. Initially, yeah, okay. but she lightly. She doesn't like any humans because of. The... Does Xanados and Demona know each other before this meeting where he finds her in the alley? No. Okay, so no. she. She doesn't trust him. She trusts. Well, she trusts the. She doesn't trust him. She trusts his resources. Right, doesn't trust him though. Um, because <clears throat> we'll have to show another flashback somewhere down the line. Even now, like while Goliath and and Demona, because these flashbacks can come as like almost story time. Right. So. Demona and Goliath meet up and they talk about where they've been. I mean, right. Goliath hasn't been anywhere, but she's kind of been all over the place. And it can kind of, the flashback can show as them sharing memories. Fair enough. Of like the 1600s when the, the, the bandit camp came. Well, yeah, so Goliath wants to know, where have you been with all this Yeah, time, so right? she's yeah. kind of recounting okay. that, you know what, this is what happened. And she's lying. And Xanados, let's say, gets, Xanados and Fox get called to the lobby where yeah. Detective, uh, Maza is waiting with her primary because she has questions. Obviously, why are you flying things up to your? That and a, a Xanadel's truck came and tampered with her whole crime scene. That's and, right, and yeah. took away a giant gargoyle that yeah. had uh, some interesting uh, blood on it. Yeah, possibly. Yeah. So, the, so they're down there, and uh, obviously Xanadel's is smoothing her over, but not really answering any questions. And it's like, well, if you don't have a warrant, detective, yeah, I don't think you can. I advise you to come back another time. Is that your Xanadol? And then he leaves. And I, yeah, I guess. And the, then you didn't sound swan. No, I didn't. I said it terrible. <laughs> I advise you. I advise. To leave. I advise you, young lady, yes. to take your British. business elsewhere. Yeah. No. Basically, Zando says you don't have anything on me, and you don't have a warrant, so you can't be here until you do. But being the scamp that she is, who are you talking about now? Uh, Elisa. Okay. She sneaks into the castle, or into the yeah the castle. So she comes back even later. Yeah. Or her di- her her partner distracts Fox and you Xanadels, got it. And she finds sneaks the... in like a little scamp. You keep pushing the scamp. I do. Narrative. I like that word. It's a fun uh, word. I don't know if you know what it means. I mean shrimp. Let's just keep moving here. Uh, shrimp scampi. Doesn't, doesn't matter if we knew if I, if I know what it means. Oh, um, don't use that there. Yeah. So so Goliath and Demona have like a little conversation. Like, oh, you know. What happened? And she goes, oh, the humans betrayed us, blah, 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 blah. So, uh, Goliath and Demona. Uh, Demona fly off to another part of the castle to, yeah, to, to, to have their talk. Yeah. They just want to separate them. And then Eliza comes up and gets to interact with Bronx first, who kind of attacks her, but it's a friendly dog. Yeah. So she's like, what the hell is this? Yeah. yeah. And then Bronx leads her, unnamed, Hudson? Yeah. to Hudson and uh, Lexington, Lex, yeah. where they get that first interaction, and she gets to give them kind of cool names. Yep. Yeah, yeah, we can lead to that. Yeah, okay, let's, let's give you guys names. Who, who, who are you, laddie? Yeah, yeah. Like, I'm Detective Lassie. It'd be Lassie. Lassie. Yeah. Uh, I'm Detective. Uh, who are you? I'm Gargoyles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, and she's like, I, what? I don't have a name. She's, she's like, what, what the are you? Fuck is going on here? Still, they're fun. They interact. Obviously, they have some sort of intelligence. Yeah. And uh, she quickly kind of 
feels kind of a kindred spirit to them. That she's like, uh, you guys need names. Yeah. You know the names? Everyone yeah. has names. That's the first name. That's part of the human experience. You want part of this experience? You have to have a name. Yeah. I only Damona and Goliath have names, so she gets she to gets know, them. Yeah. To know about these two without even seeing them yet, but she knows how to call them by name when she inevitably meets them. She's like, all right. I'll but she meets them soon after. Fair enough. Demo- like when they're done, their little chit chat about. Do you want to have you want to have them meeting everyone? Her meeting everyone at that moment. I'd like her to meet Goliath. Yeah, I would like her to meet Goliath because they need to build a report. Some sort of report, right? Okay. So it doesn't maybe, have to be long. It could just be like Goliath shows up or say they while she's with uh, the other three. Okay. And they kind of go, oh yeah, this she gave us names type thing. Okay, so how about like, oh, okay. uh, Hudson and, before he's named Hudson is flipping around. He's like, can you tell us where this is? Like? Yeah, Hudson, yeah. And he sees a lake and he's like, oh, that, she's, that's the Hudson. Yeah. The Hudson, eh? Yeah. She's like, that's a good name for you. And he clicks the, clan, the channel again. And there's a report that there's uh, another yeah. robbery on in the Bronx. And then Hudson's like, all right, Bronx, eh? And then uh, Bronx, who it likes the name, barks. Yeah. Bronx it is. Yeah. Clicks the channel again. He's like, oh, sale, sale, sale. Lexington, Lexington, Lexington. Lexington Ave. Ave. Yeah. 69.5. Lexington? And then she's like, oh, sure, we'll call you Lexington. You guys all get names. You get a name. You get a name. You get a name. And you she, all get a name. And she starts giving out cars, too, because she has that far. <laughs> um, so they have this nice little team building moment. Yeah. Uh, very and then maternal, she's, where she's like, oh, I like you guys. I give you names. She's like, we, they like, what, we, like, we like you too. They want to know more about her, but she has to, she has to skip out because Xanadol's coming, coming back in. So uh, Xanadol comes back in. She, she bails. He kind of gets them to, uh, he's, he's, he's building their trust except for Demona. Yeah. He's like, let me show you more of the castle. Yeah. Uh, come with me. And he's like, ah, uh, Hudson's like, ah, uh, call me Hudson. And he's like, Hudson, where'd you get yeah, that from? Sure. He's whatever. Like, uh, we have names too, you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they go off until let's say the lab, they go a left, uh, Eliza goes right and walks straight into the man with a plan, or without a plan, uh, Goliath, and uh, he maybe lets out a little girl. I was like, <sighs> and then he's like, and she looks up. She's like, you must be Goliath. How did you know my name? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. That's good. Yes, yeah, they're all, they're one on one. Yeah, right, yeah. He's like, well, I, I I met your friends Hudson, Brooklyn, and Lexington. He's like, who? He's like, well, we gave him names. He's like, okay. But what we got? Tell, tell me what. what what do you think of Xanados? Yeah, and she'll tell me slimy. Yeah, he's like, watch out for him. Yeah, he's slimy. How do I get out of here? He's like, yeah. He's like, uh, take, well, I don't know if he knows, but. No, he <laughs> <laughs> well, he'd know the castle. He okay, fair enough. He wouldn't know the building. Okay, yeah. Uh, so. Take two lefts, walk past the bedroom. <laughs> yeah. Here's a if you see if, <laughs> if you see the candle holder, you've gone too far. Come back around. <laughs> the, skull, the wooden door. Maybe um, she's slick enough to be like, uh, do you know how to use a cell phone? And gives her and gives him her cell phone. He's like, I'll, I'll Might call you. Maybe asking too much. Maybe asking too much. She wants some sort of connection to this guy. Well, she's coming back. She's like, I'm coming back tomorrow because you guys intrigued the shit out of me. Right? Uh, These are monsters, right? Fair enough. I, there's got to be some sort of keepsake, right? So maybe he's like, here's my card. Like, I don't know if you know how to use a phone, but here's the number to call if you ever need me. Because mm-hmm. that's something that later on Goliath can give to somebody else and be like, I know Eliza. Okay. Right? You can have like a funny moment or like a serious moment. Where it's like I mean, a detective. So she gives her card. Like, okay, I'll be back. What's your name again? Goliath. Or yeah. like, she remembers his name. Maybe she's like, you are detective. So what we got, and then from so from this Mother. from this point, we got to build a couple things in the span of probably about thirty or forty minutes. Is that Xanatos has them do some errands for him. Right. Demona kind of breaks away from the gargoyles and doesn't trust Xanatos, but is able to kind of work out a, some sort of deal with him because you, you get to find out in the in the in flashbacks that demona was in on the sacking right fair enough and of the castle. she wants the book too she wants the book just because of the power yeah Macbeth and uh demona both want this book yeah and uh Macbeth Xanadus wants the book too. Mac, sorry to go back to Macbeth too I don't know if this is too much for a movie but you kind of got to give him a backstory in that in, in I want him to be tragic in that he wants to kill Demona, not to kill her, but because he doesn't want to live anymore type thing. 
that he's had enough. He's been around for a thousand of years. Maybe that's the next flashback that you can get. Yeah, I want him to be like that's his motivation. He that's, was, you can he, tell that he's story. He's not mad at Demona. He just you wants, can, you can tell done. that story when you flash back to sixteen hundreds and the Gargoyles go to his town and tear up everything, his family, but leave him for whatever reason. Well, yeah, he hates he hates her more than anything else, right? I'm that's, just saying if yeah. you're building backstory of like why you want to kill yourself, your family's been taken away, your home's well, been taken yeah, away. Yeah, just well, you can you keep compiling that. Like, human, you keep losing things because of these people. But there's a human that's lived for a thousand years. You can. He's already tired. He's got nobody, right? You don't really need to say that a, do that in a flashback. You can just say that in a conversation. Well, I'm just saying in in the span of a war. Okay, but you can show gar- yeah, it's sure, always sure, the guy sure, yeah, that yeah. keep taking things away from it. He finally gets to put a face to it when yeah. it's Demona. Yeah, but he's through a thousand years. He's just been going through, let's say, Europe, smashing any type of gargoyle yeah. statue that he sees, regardless of if it's uh, real or fake. He's just he's, he's got that built in. Along the way, he made a connection with Demona is like this is this is the face of evil this is who I need to find and finally destroy there's gonna be a reason why they were tragically tethered together too I mean you can that's, you can give that gotta, way or you yeah. don't have to again that's with the MacGuffin if you have that book okay, a lot of things can yeah, be explained right. and not explained you just know enough about these characters that they want the book for their own personal reasons Yeah. when they get the book you can announce what that reason is sure. or not they all want this one thing but yeah so we got established the gargoyles working for Xanatos we got to establish Demona uh, having her own agenda. We got to establish Macbeth kind of circling the castle now, figuring out that there are gargoyles, guard, that she is up there. Right. Right? And you got to establish. What Xana does want from these guys. What Zan- well, yeah, that's. Yeah, that goes with them doing the jobs. Okay. But also, you have to, and you have to establish the relationship between Goliath and Elisa. Okay. There's a lot to do in a middle section of the movie, but it's possible. Right? Uh, it's just basically exposure. So, Elisa leaves, and is it Goliath flying around? Do you want to do a flashback now? Because we're at a break in the kind of pacing of the movie, where you could either give exposition on what's happening, or background on what has happened. I don't think we need one. Because uh, because the, the talk with Demona and Goliath kind of showed what happened to the castle. Sure. And how they all die, but, and her, but he's not unsettled. But now with she, that truth, she, yeah, he's so, not sitting right with him. No, he doesn't understand why. She, well, he doesn't. I guess he doesn't understand why she did wasn't she did. with them. Yeah, no, he doesn't know that she, he doesn't yet know that, that she betrayed them. Fair right? enough. And she can just say, "I was out looking for you." False. Right? You were. Which was, the lie detest determined this is false. So she, we have them all on Maury. Yeah. Taking lie detest. Yeah, and this is how it ends. And that's that. Okay, so we cut back to Xanados with Hudson, Brooklyn, no, Hudson, Bronx, and Lexington, mm-hmm. and Goliath walks in, and he's like, this is where Xanados propositions them. We gotta do some jobs here, you need this, because these people are to get me, I'm a good guy, yada, yada, yada. So they were like, they're like, alright, sure, let's do this, because he brought us back, so he throw, he holds that over them. I Fine. brought you guys back, I brought you- Do this for me. Your quote-unquote queen back to you. You owe me. Right. In a smoother, nicer way, right? Right. And he sends them off to do, go check out this pharmaceutical lab, see what you can yeah, do. Yeah, and he, they're basically attacking competitors right. and stealing their tech and ideas and stuff. Cut cut back to the courtyard where Demona now sees the book is sitting by itself and slowly creeps to it. And then Fox is, puts her hand on it quick and wraps it up so they have a nice face-off between Demona and Fox. And mm-hmm. Maybe Fox is like, uh, don't you need to be with the rest of the And Fox could be, be on the demon this whole time. Yeah. Like, this, this... Well, uh, she's, de- she's definitely got eyes on everything else, right? Yeah. We're assuming that the camera, or we're, we're telling you that there's cameras and technology built into this castle. Obviously, there's a oh, control yeah, room yeah. and everything. You gotta specify, right? It's yeah, not the no, castle absolutely. from the 1600s. It's a little more modern and updated. That's why it has, like, little armory cells and places where Xanadol's can appear and disappear. Yeah. And run with the rest of his, uh, skyscraper. But Fox comes to take the book back, and Demona and Fox face off, and maybe just a look of, okay, maybe... It's not like a fight to the death. It's no, more no, it's like, just like, like all right. I understand that we're both maybe opposition yeah. of this one thing, which is the book, the yeah. MacGuffin. Yeah. Then she flies off to go do her own thing. And that's when Macbeth maybe sees her. Okay. Or no, it like sees her around, like, right. oh, shit. So here she is. She is here. Well, he was, he kind of knew it was her when he got He had an idea, away. but now he knows where. For sure. Oh, yeah. The, oh, where she is. Yeah, yeah. But now he knows. He would know that already from the castle because he already made the deal with Xanados. Okay, fair enough. Has Macbeth made contact with Xanados since? since no, they kinda, he kind of came over and, that and then was that. left him. Okay. It's like, you're out of, like, that's, deal's done. 
I so, got this. You're you're here. It's off. Then it, uh, gargoyles go to let's say a pharmaceutical company. Macbeth is tracking those gargoyles, not Demona. Maybe he knows that there's a female gargoyle, but he he hunts the pack instead. Because then at the pharmaceutical, you can have a face off. A showdown. Okay. Macbeth and maybe a couple of the gargoyles, not yet. Goliath. And he, he handles them, but then Goliath kind of steps in and is like, yeah. and he's like, Ugh. and that's not, more not that's yet. a more yeah. formidable foe. And then you start building that uh, ultimate blow off at the at the end of the movie, right? Yeah. So uh, Macbeth proves to be another human that Goliath, uh, the gargoyles can't trust, and something uh, that Goliath has to remember that hey, Demona said I don't like humans. Here's another reason why. Oh, and they just they just recognize uh, Macbeth from way back when too. Like oh yeah, because he was there. Yeah yeah. yeah. How are like, you still alive? Yeah, yeah okay like, how are, like so, then, so maybe Hudson recognized like I know you. So when they come back, they can even confront Demona about like what. This guy's Macbeth still here? around, yeah, yeah. and then she can kind of tell them. That's when she can tell them they're tethered, right? And then Xanados can overhear that and see, oh, Macbeth is trying to fuck with you guys yeah. now, too? Oh, fuck. Yeah. I knew this was a bad idea. Yeah. And this and is kind of the beginning of the culmination of, of everybody. Everyone. Sweet. Yeah. Okay. That you also good. get a face-off between uh, Macbeth's mace and uh, Hudson's sword. Okay, yeah, it's big. It's, it's big, big uh, ma- machete. It's a massive yeah. dagger. Yeah, 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 it's huge. It's like... And I want to hear some cling, cling, clings. Yeah. And then, obviously, uh, alarms go off. Cops flood as everyone breaks out, and then Elise is like, "Fuck, it's the gargoyles again." But she can't really let on. Her partner's like, "You know something more than what you're letting on." Yeah. It's like, Maybe, but right. I, don't, I don't know everything yet. We do have to get this added us. We need a warrant. Yeah. So go get a warrant, and then while he's getting the warrant, she pisses off. <laughs> <laughs> she goes up to the tower, right? Well, this could be a. Uh, is this a new day now? I guess yeah. This, this has to be. It can't be all the same night it's because. We have to, so we have to get, in order for her to get up the tower that needily, she, there has to be a good reason. And the good reason would be some sort of fireworks up there. And if there's going to be some sort of fireworks, that means Macbeth is now there, right? So we're already skipping to that point? Well, what we've, between what we've been talking about and now, it's all exposure and kind of deepening relationships and... Um, chasing the book. Chasing the book around. The book's there, right? Yeah. Under lock and key, let's like, assume, yeah. in a vault. Demona wants it. Macbeth wants it. The gargoyles Zanado, don't care. Xanatos has Zanado's it. has it. Yeah. So it's Macbeth and Demona that want it. Uh, Demona wants it to, I guess, try and break the tether, which is, I guess, you can make it impossible. Macbeth wants it, uh, maybe because to use it to lure Demona to him, if she can't, if he doesn't know where she is, right? Right. But he also has an idea that she's in the castle, so... Maybe he goes to the castle for the book, but then realizes she's there, so fuck the book. I just want to kill her anyway. Okay. Type thing, right? Does that make sense? Kind of. Kind of. We should also have a scene where, let's say, Lexington kind of is playing around in the castle. Oh, yeah. No, you got connected a fun to, scene. Yeah. Connected to the lab, but he kind of uh, maybe hits a switch, and it reveals the door of uh, Gargoyle Metsu. Like, yeah, what you is want this? that, eh? You want that thing? I just want him to see it so they know. That's another reason why they know they can't trust someone. Okay. Because he wants it to it's be like, another Gargoyle. Like but it, it, look, it looks like just me, but it's not me. And he's like, Goliath, what is this? Like, yeah. is, is this you? Like, he doesn't know to play with it, to touch yeah. it. If it's a friend or a foe, you need more reasons for them to understand why they can't keep trusting the guy that holds their house hostage. Yeah. So there's that scene. That's fine. That's fine. But that's what I'm talking about. A little exposure just like that. Throughout, kind of like help build tension and everything, but yeah, you need you need Macbeth to be there first, to go there as in the castle. You need him to show up with the gargoyles there, right? Okay. And you need Demona to be there because well, actually, you don't really need to at that point no. because you just need some gargoyles there because he's already confronted the rest of them, so what, he gets there. What if it's like Macbeth in like the middle of Central Park and in fire he writes out like some sort of. Scottish phrase, like maybe a magic. Why symbol, would he do that though? To attract Demona, so Demona sees this fiery symbol and she notices it and flies down. Uh huh. And then she meets with Macbeth, and then they have the standoff of like, "I knew it was you." Yeah, because like, they have to. They have to scrap. Yeah. They sure. have to at least meet and understand. Like, okay, we know a lot more than we're letting on to everybody else. There needs to be that scene of when they give each other's exposition, and. Macbeth knows he has to go up there, but he's not stupid enough to go up there without, like, stacking the deck a little bit, right? So okay. I don't see him. I don't see him being a smart villain blindly going up there and be like, "Oh, where are all the gargoyles? I'm going to kill him now." Okay, good point. He would want to 
knowing that there's these gargoyles <laughs> that he's already faced off against. <laughs> he can. He, where are they? Where are they? Rachel, I came. Where are she? He's wearing bad ears and everything. Oh, that'd be so great. So he's, where is she? He's, <laughs> he's faced off against Hudson and Lexington. He's seen Bronx and he knows Goliath uh, is out there. It can, he can only assume that somewhere is Demona. He needs a way to attract Demona away from those guys because he has a secret that he's pretty sure they don't know. So he writes out something in Gaelic. Maybe it's a, a magical phrase, something that he lights on fire. Maybe it's the, the house of Macbeth. Maybe it's something from their past. That... Wouldn't a fire? Wouldn't a fire that size bring more than just her, though? Like cops would be like, "What? What's what's this about?" Okay, so we're assuming that he does this in the middle of Central Park, or like on a rooftop. Or yeah, you do something like that. Like it was, somewhere yeah. where he's isolated, away a less, from. Little less obvious. Where where her flying over would be able to see, where she can kind of attract. To... Yeah, she's attracted to this symbol for whatever reason. He does that. She sees it. They have a meeting on this rooftop. And he finally gets to say his long speech of, like, you've caused me so much pain for a thousand years. Yeah, like, a, yeah. And she's like, you remember the deal we made? Yeah. Don't bitch out on me now. Yeah. And then maybe, also flying over, Goliath kind of sees it. He's like, what is this? And then you get a three-way stance off. I don't think we need Goliath, though. Well, I want, I want, how else are you going to reveal that these two are, are you ever going to reveal that these two are in cahoots? Well, they're not anymore. Or maybe Z- not anymore. Maybe Xanados has like a spy or some sort of tracker on uh, Demona. Yeah. Because there needs to be someone else there to understand that these guys are way more in bed than anyone else knew, and I have to reveal that. But they're not, they're not anymore, right? They were they were they were during the. They're still connected. They're, the they still Olympics. have a big secret. That yes. If I'm Xanados and I and I know that Goliath isn't completely on my side because of. Demona and now Macbeth is someone that I brought that. in. Yeah, you got I need that. a way to turn that around. Yeah. So somehow he has tech or a, a drone see this, and he's like, "Oh, okay." And then he can go to Goliath and kind of be like, uh, "So this is what's going on." Yeah, <laughs> these two. Are Your girl is it yeah. really yo girl? Yeah, yeah. Okay, and yeah, she's scandalous. And then that throws Goliath into more of like cloud and shroud and he's like well there's proof i see the video what is what is this magical box that you're showing me it's <laughs> what is it he breaks it he's like this, this is a picture box this moving picture box this costs money big guy yeah. like, stop breaking yeah. my tvs yeah. um and then he flies off and maybe that's how he gets to talk to eliza again right he's look he's yeah, searching yeah, for yeah. some sort of ally i don't know how they meet up again but uh, maybe he follows her car. He knows the number on the license like, plate on the or the. I was gonna say a cop car, but detectives drive normal cars. normal cars. Yeah. All right. Well, assume that he's smart enough that he got. She wrote on the business card, uh, "This is my car that I drive in license number," because that's what cops do. <laughs> 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 but they have to find some way to be together so she can give more information on why you can't trust Xanados, and now she's starting to get a file and why he gives him information on. Maybe there's a name you need to look up named Macbeth. Because that helps answer the crime that she originally started with uh, Demona in the alleyway. Right, so she's looking at she's, but is but Elisa doesn't know about Macbeth. No, but if, right? they're, if they're trading information, if Eliza, Elisa and uh, Goliath are trading information, she gives him Xanados and, and he, he gives, gives him Macbeth. Macbeth. Okay. So she can be like, okay, let me get a file for this, whatever, whatever. Maybe that's how she gets the warrant of like, oh, I have a reason to believe that you're harboring someone that's not supposed to be here, an illegal immigrant. Oh, whatever, whatever. okay, I like that. Yeah, let okay, me go that's up good. and let me check out. Right? Yeah, Do, I, he's like, like, this is insane. You we can't have, just somehow they found pictures of them shaking hands. Do you yeah. know this man named Macbeth? Uh, he's been wanted warrants. for Interpol. Yada yeah. yada yada. That's let good. me in. I like that. Yeah, let good. me in. Right? Okay. Now we can have all the parties so start she rushing busts up in there. with a bunch of cops. Even Macbeth is like, uh, in their meeting, I'm going to expose you. Fuck you. Like. The only way I can get free is if I get that book and I kill you. And she's like, you'll never get the book and you're never going to kill me. I can kill you right now if I want to, but I can't. So once I get the book, I'm going to kill you. So they both know that they want to kill each other, but they need the book. Because they're, the they're the only people that can kill each other. There's Correct. No, yeah. And the book is in the castle. the castle. So there's their motivation to go back to the castle. It's almost uh, like a race back there. Every, that's that's where the money is. Yeah. Literally. Um, Hudson... Bronx and Lexington are like, yo, this place is weird. Like, we need to find somewhere else to get out of here. Um, and Goliath returns back and he's like, we need, we need to get out of here. We need to get this book and leave. 
And Daniels is hearing all this, and he's like, wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Duck no, engine. No, Duck engine. Yeah, you work for me. You belong to me. Yeah, yeah, this is where he turns it on. He's the no. funny villain. There's yeah. the whole speech. I brought you here. This is my money. You keep bringing my screens. There has to be a scene where he, from uh, an ode to the cartoons, where he comes up with a rocket launcher. And just decides to like blow yeah, them all it's up. Yeah, it's gotta be. It's gotta be something well, like that. Well, wait till everybody's on the roof. And yeah, they do. He, not and then now. Like, I'm no, just no, saying. No, at some enough. point, he's we'll gotta, get. He's we'll gotta... get you your fancy little rocket okay. launcher. He'll make the boom boom <laughs> in the sky. But this is where he gets the big speech of like, "Yo, I'm the boss. You work for me. Yeah. Now to make sure that you're gonna work for me, we're gonna put you, these collars on you. And that's where you get the dog catchers. Oh, okay, and they're trying. To, yeah. And, all right. Yeah. And then Gargoyles are like, "No, no, no, no. That's not happening." Don't touch me anything, and then a little scrum begins to ensue. So now you've got Elisa and the cops headed to the skyscraper, and uh, going up the skyscraper. You got um, Sanatos and his goons fighting the gargoyles on the skyscraper. On the skyscraper, and you got Macbeth and Demona also on the way to the skyscraper. Correct to get to this book. To get to this book, and Fox uh, locking up the book. And Fox is okay, or closest to the book. She's the last one with the book. So this is we don't have to go into too much detail here. This is just going to be basically a big melee of boom, 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 hero fights. This person versus this person. This person versus this person. This person versus this. Right. And I have a rocket Chris launcher. Chris, 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 Chris. And there's, I there's have a mech suit. Launcher at some point, you I want the mech suit real bad. I don't want the mech suit. It's there. Fine. It's, we can, we can just give the reveal. He has the, he has the technology the, to make a mech yeah, suit because that can help set the, up other things later. on. The mech suit's fine as long as it's not the robot army. That was. <laughs> it's there, but if. If I'm Xanados and I want to fight and throw it out, he's and doing the, the mech suit, and yeah. the rocket launcher doesn't work. The mech suit again. You can yeah. save it, but it's there. It's like the whole um, Iron Man two when uh, Rhodey's like original Rhodey's like not yet, yeah. but he sees it right. Yeah. So if you want to play like yeah. that, fine. Setting up. Oh no, Iron Man one. My mistake. Original Rhodey. But yeah, so everybody, <laughs> how do you want that to end? That big scrum. I want because I want Xanatos to have the book because you got to understand there's. There's the Xanatos Gambit, right? Is he always wins? Sure. No I, matter I, how, he always wins somehow, and it's not always a big thing, but it's he always comes out the w- a winner. Some a the winner. winner. Okay. Yeah, not the winner, but a winner. He'll take an L, but he'll oh, he'll have a W too. I'm happy with uh, Eliza going over the edge and yeah, the life doing yeah, the, the that, whole that scene has to happen. Yeah, where if her remember her and Demona are falling. Yeah, and he goes he goes for her. Yeah. yeah. So Demona has to do some scandalous shit for him to choose. Maybe uh, Macbeth is going up with explosive then. Okay. Because he wants to blow this castle that's been robbed for me. Yeah. The man I sold it to wasn't really true to his word. And I don't know where the book is, but fuck it. If I yeah. I can live forever. Yeah. So if I blow up everything, fuck he, it. At least I'll clear out where I want to find this book. I guess he hopes to kill it. Because he doesn't like... If he destroys the book, yeah. we assume that even the spell is going to be done. So... Right, okay, like if there's no book, there's no spell. Then he just disintegrates away. So let me just blow up everything, like this motherfucker. So he's he's walking up like a human bomb, knowing that I'll be the only one to survive. I am fine with that. Ding. Well, I want my Macbeth to actually want to die, but it, yeah, it doesn't matter. Like, maybe same thing. He hopes to kill Demona in this book. I'm just saying, it doesn't matter. Uh, it doesn't matter. He wants to kill everybody. That's fine, but like if you have the he's book, to lose. listen. Yeah. But if my thought process, if I'm Macbeth, if I'm a, a bomb. And I'm holding the book. I destroy me, the place, and the book all in one swoop. And I get my final victory because everything... And I just fade to black. Everything yeah. I wanted. Everything that's cursed me for so long, is I'm taking Done. with me. Yeah. Right? That's so good. There's, I like him. There, there's his motivation. Al- like, Elisa's being a cop, so that's her motivation. Goliath is defending what's going on. His last home. He's right? still, they're still defending the home because yeah. they don't know whether or not they can stay or leave. But now they're under attack by the human that... They thought was Xanatos. Their friend. Yeah, Xanatos has switched off a bit because he's lost control on Goliath and Co. And Demona. Yeah, and, and Demona's being Demona. She wants the book for herself so she can she can skate on her own. Right. And you know, Fox is thing. just like she you know, realized the, the book is safe, and he's like, no, no, bring me the book. And she's like, no, it's stupid. Don't. Yeah. Leave it in the safe. Yeah. Like, no, no, give me the book. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. But everything falls apart. I want Xanatos to have the book at the end because when it's all said and done, so Macbeth is in the wind, Demona's in the wind, Xanatos gets arrested. Correct. Xanatos gets arrested, but Fox stays free. And has the book. And has the book. Correct. And then Goliath and, and company, they... Fly off they to, go to look there. for a new home yeah. with Eliza, yeah. who's now their ally. And Demona's assumed dead, but she's not really. She's Well, she can live forever. She's living. Yeah. The book's alive. Yeah. So we assume that... And I still want to explode the castle on the top. 
Yeah. Because yeah. I, I want Boom. I want uh, Macbeth to be under that rubble. Boom. And then yeah. Yeah. And then and when he's in, boom. There you go. <laughs> you, need, you need the three booms. Yeah. So, and then, uh, yeah. Boom. Boom. So, that's it. That's, and that's that. So, it's like, yeah, that wraps up that. Right? The one big explosion? Yeah, and then Elisa maybe leads the Goliaths to that clock tower. Yeah. So, let's say her partner right? catches. Um, maybe he learns about them now. No, no. Let's, <laughs> let's say uh, his partner catches Xanados going down, like, uh, another elevator with the book and he's like nope the other gun on is like you're under arrest for a million things but we're gonna take you in now he's like all right fine dashes but the book to fox Fox, and she kind of goes off some like she, she jumps in the car yeah. he's like i'll be around with bail soon yeah. enough right because that's a, you can give that whole exposition in a news story the next day right like when they're watching tv in the new place that now hudson bronx lexington and goliath now live in Maybe it's a clock tower. There's always a clock tower. Yeah. Um, and they got cable. And she's like, all right, cool. Like, we got Xanados. Um, the book is still out there. Demona's still out there. What and about, also... What about Macbeth? And all, and we also... No, but what about uh, the other gargoyles, Brock, Brooklyn and Broadway? I wanted to use that as a after credit scene, to be honest with you. Because I had my own credit scene. Sure. For those guys? Nope. Okay. No, not for those guys. So, this is a new day now. Um... The battle's over. The gargoyles are safe. Um, the boy that initially had the book yeah. returns back to uh, the magic emporium. Magus. Magus isn't there anymore. He goes down to, like let's say, a sub-basement. Um, whispers a little spell and opens up three crates. And then that's how you get Brooklyn, uh, Broadway, and Angela for real friends. Angela too, right? I like Angela, Angela too. Because that adds a whole new dynamic yeah. to no, what's going good. on with. Yeah. And That's then good. the boy kind of appears himself to be Puck, who is a mythical figure back in Scotland and played this mischief maker type of thing. So that would be my after credit, right? I would tease more gargoyles, fan favorite gargoyles, for another movie or that right. they exist in this universe. And now they're going to go find their friends who are now safe in like this clock tower or where we're, we're, we're putting them on. They don't have names yet, obviously. No. But they'll get them. They'll get them soon. They'll, they'll get them. So my after credit scene is Fox in a room. Xantos enters the room. And he talks about his, just posted it, bail. I just posted bail. Feels good. Where's the book? Where are we with our progress? Right. She has the book open next to it, like an operating table, right. with a bunch of rubble, some cybernetic limbs and stuff. And he's just kind of like, you know what? If they won't, if gar- those gargoyles won't obey me naturally, I'm going to program them to. So. He's basically putting Cold Stone together. Who, and who, if you watch the cartoons, is part. He's a he's a gargoyle that got broken while he was in stone. Correct. And they piece him back together with cybernetics. So that makes sense on why the mech suit is exactly. shown. He took so the, the mech remainder suit, of yeah. the mech suit or and pieces, pieces of the mech of suit. gargoyle and magic. Help, yeah. Magic and science help build this new creation for the next movie that Xenados also controls. Um, so he still wins because he still has the book. He still has... He understands what the gargoyles we, are now. We don't know where Demona is. No. She's in the wind. Macbeth is in the wind. Um, you don't want one more scene with Gargoyle? Fine. I mean, Gerald Butler? Fine. He's back. That's all right. No, he's... Like, he'll come he's, back. He's alive. Right? Yeah. But doesn't get a final scene? He yeah, sure he does if you want. No, no. This Not is, after credits. This is, this is after credits. Oh, yeah, yeah. He doesn't need after credits. Because he, he gets exploded in the uh, rubble up in the castle. Yeah. We don't see anything that happens. It's just assumed that because he can live forever... But you can just, the they can just show him walking by like a cafe or something at some point. It doesn't matter. Yeah, he's whistling again. He's still there. Yeah. Haggis, please. I'll what? take the haggis. You don't, we don't serve haggis here. What is this? McDonald's? You, got, you don't have a haggis here? Anyway. And that's a wrap. Right? Yeah. So they told us fucking five minutes. Why are you swearing? You're upset with the people I'm that I'm upset wa- now because... You're upset at the people that want to give us yes, the opportunity to pitch They a told movie? us five minutes. It's been over an hour now. Well, so we're late to go in there. Just what? hold on a second. Hey, excuse me. Are we, like, are they going to see it? Oh, she doesn't like looking at you no more. Well, right now. Right. Okay, yeah, no, the right is yes. Yeah. Rem- remember to say boom three times. Again. I'll say I'll boom three gonna... times. Okay. Uh, I think I'll, that's good. Okay, quieter each time. Keith so. David. Always Keith David. Got to be Keith David. Listen, guys, you can throw the whole script, but you have to have Keith David. Really? You, it, it falls apart without <laughs> Keith David. You don't have him? It, it really it's is. Done. Ass to ass. All right, let's go. PG. Ready? PG we got 13. this. We got this. Oh, I hope, hope we, somebody cares. We got we got one fuck, right? For PG 13? Yeah, we got one fuck. Gerard Butler gets to see Gerard Butler. <laughs> as he's getting kicked. In. This is New York. 
Fuck. Ah. All right. Somebody cares. We care.